three key steps you must take to secure your very first board appointment. First and foremost, what I want you to do is go and talk to your boss, your peers, your colleagues and ask them, are you board ready? Are you ready to serve in the boardroom? What's their perception of you and the value that you could bring in a boardroom setting? Because I think you need that reality check first and foremost. And you certainly would want to be hearing from the vast majority of your you know, colleagues, certainly your bosses, your peers, people saying, yes, you're ready to serve in the boardroom. You've got the right skills. You've got the right temperament. You've got the right um, uh, level of experience now you're ready to serve at the highest levels of the organization so that would be step one step two would be also getting board ready in terms of your own personal calibration around the search so that includes getting uh, your resumes up to date your LinkedIn profiles your corporate biographies getting crystal clear on your unique value proposition and the you know really getting that absolutely crystal clear on how you're going to add value to business business strategy to risk management and what are the the core competencies that you bring to the table that make you a unique board director candidate and then the final step is working out what is the correct first board role that would be appropriate for yourself to secure that would add value to that organization but would also add value to your own board career uh, pathway and so you know the options might be a small private enterprise a, a small not-for-profit board uh, maybe a startup an upstart type business maybe a small government board a community board a sports board an arts board there's a lot of options but you need to get the clarity so the first step is really getting the validation that you've got what it takes and you would want to speak to a broad audience and not be afraid to hear the feedback uh, you know good bad indifferent you may get people who say you know it's just you're a fraction too early you just need to put your head down for a few years um, and you don't have to take everyone's advice but you do want to get that kind of resounding sort of uh, feedback that you know the timing is right the perception is there that you would serve and add value in a boardroom setting second step is to get your own house in order in terms of your unique value proposition your personal branding materials and so on and then really thinking about the strategic direction and what are the correct first uh, board seats that would be appropriate for you at this level? And of course, you've got to overlay that with do you have the time, uh, the inclination, the availability to really commit because you want to do an exceptionally good job because this is like, you know, going to set the tone potentially for future board roles. So they're my top three tips that you've got to get right before you start to think about board director appointments.